On this last morning of the year 2020, I have had Frank Sinatra's song humming in my head. It was a very good year. I know it's become a bit of a joke to say 2020 was so terrible, but you know, there's a lot of grace in this year too, a lot of blessings. And yeah, maybe it wasn't the greatest year in the world, but God was present. God was with us. God sustained us. God protected us. And so there's so much to be thankful for in this year as well. And the opposition that we've experienced this year, the trials, the suffering, the difficulties, shouldn't be unexpected. I mean, that's what the church has experienced for 2,000 years since the coming of Christ. And St. John talks about that in the reading today. He talks about the anti Antichrist, understood not so much as a figure in time, but as, a, as the spirit that opposes Christ in every time. Whoever opposes, whoever denies Christ come in the flesh is the Antichrist, he says. And throughout the history of the church, there's been this opposition to Christ as well. And so all the trials that we experience in time shouldn't be unexpected. And the same St. John who experienced all those trials is the same St. John who wrote this beautiful prologue to his gospel, John chapter 1, in which he reminds us, yes, there is darkness in the world, but there is also light, and the light has come into the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. In the great battle between light and darkness, it's always light that wins in the end. And he also reminds us to be grateful for what we have received through the light that has come into the world through Christ. And he says, we have all received from his fullness grace in place of grace, grace upon grace. It's not just a little bit of blessing that we receive from God. It's not just a little bit of grace. It is the fullness of grace. It is grace upon grace. And if we really take a moment, as the church does on New Year's Eve, to think back on the past year, we have so much grace that we have received. In fact, in times of difficulty and trial, there is more grace available. Where sin abounds, grace abounds all the more. And so we have so much to be grateful for in this year. There's so much that God has given us. I'm certainly grateful this year to have come here to this parish, to have met all of you, uh, and to receive so many blessings in my priesthood, in my life. And I'm sure if we all stop to think about it, we could all find blessings this year that we've received. Blessings of new children, blessings of marriages, blessings of loved ones who have gone home to heaven, blessings of uh, trials that God has, has guided us through. And so today in the church, the church invites us to think about the past year, which is a year of grace, which is the year of the Lord, and to be thankful and on this day, it's traditional to sing a, a hymn called Te Deum, uh, which is a hymn of praise to God. And so at the end of Mass today, we'll, we'll pray the, the hymn Te, Te Deum, which is a hymn of praise to God. In fact, to do it today at Mass, there's a special indulgence attached to, to singing this hymn today. It's an ancient hymn of the church that praises God for all that he has done. In Shakespeare's play, Henry V, when... Uh, the king has won this great miraculous battle against the French at the Battle of Agincourt. He is so moved by what God has done for him because he wins against miraculous odds and is so clearly uh, just a, a favor from God that he has all the soldiers in his army sing Non nobis en te deum. Non nobis is the psalm, not to us, O Lord, but to your name be the glory. And te deum is the hymn that we'll sing at the end of Mass today. You are God, we praise you. And for him, it was just an acknowledgement that everything he had came from God. All his successes, all the blessings that he has received, victory in any battle comes from the Lord. And in the church's understanding of things, all the time is relative. As St. John says, children, it is the last hour. Since Jesus has come into the world, we're in the final times anyways. However long this time lasts in history, it is the last hour. It is the time when Christ is bringing to fulfillment his work in the world. And so let us praise God this year for all the blessings that he, we have received. Let us praise and thank him that even though, yes, there's been trials, God gives us the victory.